From Maradona to Messi, Batistuta to Aguero, Di Stefano to Riquelme, Argentina never failed to give us extraordinary players. Today, I'll give you my opinion in what might possibly be the best Argentinian eleven of all time. Goalkeeper, Ubaldo Filho. It's hard to argue against this man, even though we have to give credit to Amadeo Carrizo for also being an amazing goalkeeper, El Pato, as he's fondly remembered as, has to be the number one. Ubaldo was the first goalkeeper to be considered as the Argentina Footballer of the Year in 1977, and also made over 50 appearances, participating in three World Cups, winning it in 1978. At club level, he's considered a River Plate legend, having won the national championship seven times. Right back, Javier Zanetti. This fullback was consistently one of the best defenders in the world for over 20 years. After making the big move to Serie A to play for Inter Milan in 1995, he was one of the first names on the team sheets for 19 seasons. Zanetti made 858 appearances for Inter and won 16 trophies with the club, including 5 Scudetti, 4 Coppa Italia, 4 Supercoppa Italiana, 1 UEFA Cup, 1 Champions League and the FIFA Club World Cup. Zanetti appeared in 143 games for the Argentina national team, participating in the Copa America Finals in 2004 and 2007, as well as the Confederations Cup Finals in 1995 and 2005. Centre-back, Daniel Passarella. Captain of the 1978 World Cup winning side, the defender held for some time the record of the most goals scored by a defender in a single season. Passarello was short for a centre-back, but covered that with his fighting spirit and intelligence. He was also a River Plate idol, having won the Argentinian League six times. Centre-back, Oscar Ruggeri. Ruggeri, known as El Cabezón, the big-headed one, was a member of the Argentina national team that won the 1986 FIFA World Cup and two Copa America editions. Known for his rough style of play when marking opposing players and for his aerial capabilities, Oscar was also a River Plate legend, winning the league title, Libertadores and International Cup one time each. Left back, Silvio Marsolini. One of the Argentina's finest defenders, left back Silvio Marsolini is one of the Boca Juniors' longest serving players, having made more than 400 competitive appearances in 13 seasons with the club. Having also represented Argentina in the World Cups of 1962 and 1966. Marzolini was known for his offensive strength and aerial ability with great skill on the ball and an attacking instinct which gave him huge influence over the whole left side of the pitch. Defensive midfielder Luis Monti. Monti was a tough, physical and ruthless player who also possessed technical skills to complement his stamina and tackling ability. In the old tactical systems, he played as an attacking center half, which meant that when his team was defending, he would mark the opposing striker, but when his side was attacking, he would be the main midfield playmaker a truly complete player that could not miss this list. Monty also holds the distinction of appearing in two FIFA World Cup finals for two different national teams, and in 1934, winning it with Italy. Central midfielder Alfredo Di Stefano. Di Stefano was a powerful, quick, skillful and prolific goal scorer with great stamina, tactical versatility, creativity and vision who could play almost anywhere on the pitch. No number of adjectives is enough to describe the most complete footballer of all time and one of the best to ever do it. Instrumental in Real Madrid's football domination, Di Stefano scored goals in all of the five European Cup finals. He also played for the Colombian and Spanish national teams. Attacking midfielder, Diego Maradona. One of the two obvious choices in this 11, Maradona defined a footballing generation with his vision, passing, ball control and dribbling. His presence and leadership on the field had a great effect on his team's general performance which culminated in the 1986 World Cup win. Maradona was the first player to set the world record transfer fee twice. In 1982, when he transferred to Barcelona for £5 million, and in 1984, when he moved to Napoli for a fee of £6.9 million. He played for Argentina's juniors, Boca Juniors, Barcelona, Napoli, Sevilla and New Old Old Boys during his club career. Right winger, Lionel Messi. Seven Ballon d'Or awards, six European Golden Shoes and a Copa America. 35 trophies at Barcelona alone, including 10 league titles, and over 750 goals for both club and country. There's only one trophy that is missing from Messi's cabinet, and by the time you're watching this video, he might have already clinched it. Messi, alongside Ronaldo, stayed on top of his game for over 15 years and inspired my generation to love football. He will forever be one of the greats. Left winger, Mario Kempes. A prolific striker who could also play as an attacking midfielder and even a winger, Toro was a strong, hard-working forward who would very often score from outside the penalty area, and was not the traditional center forward operating solely inside the box. His best years were when he played for Valencia, where he scored 116 goals in 184 matches. Campes was also the focal point of the 1978 World Cup win, 
where he scored two goals in the final and won the Golden Ball and Golden Boot Award. Center forward, Gabriel Batistuta. Maradona defined the 80s and Messi this new century, Batistuta has to be the Argentinian icon of the 90s. One of the best strikers of all time, he could find a way to score a goal no matter how hard it seemed. Whether it was a volley or a long-range shot, Batty Goal, as he was dearly called, always found a way to meet the back of the net. Although he never won the biggest trophy for Argentina, he conquered the Copa America two times and he's also the only player to score two hat-tricks in different World Cups. At club level, he was a legend at Fiorentina, but it was at Roma where he finally won the Serie A. So what do you think about this 11? Do you think any other players should have been included? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Throne FC.